In the last episode, we talked about the clarion call given by Sri Sri Thakurun Kulchandra to wage a war against five enemies. They are death, disease, disintegration, poverty and ignorance. In the last episode, we talked about how to conquer death. Today, let's talk about how to overcome, how to defeat disease in this battle. On one occasion, a devotee of Sisi Thakur Kulchandra asked him, Thakur, why do we get diseases? Sisi Thakur said, disease means absence of ease. We call it disease when we experience the lack of ease within us. What does this mean? Sisi Thakur Kulchandra went on to say that all of us have the vital life force or the life current flowing within ourselves. It is the existence of the life force within us which makes us exist, which makes us active, which makes us mobile. We get afflicted by disease when this vital energy gets disrupted. And that is called vital imbalance. When we have the vital imbalance in our body, that leads to disease. If you want to overcome disease, if you want to get that ease back in our life, we must get the balance in our vital energy. We must remove all the imbalancing elements which can disrupt the vital energy within us, the life force, the life current. When we talk about disease, we generally think about physical ailments. But disease is not necessarily only physical ailments. Sri Sri Thakurana Kulchandra is of the opinion that behind a diseased body, there is a diseased mind. Behind a diseased mind, there are our habits, our lifestyle our behaviors and mannerisms which are tainted by our complexes, passions, desires or cravings for sense pleasures. When our lifestyle is affected by complexes, our cravings for sense pleasures, our behaviors and actions and thoughts become irrational. Irrational, irregulated, indisciplined lifestyle can lead to negative thoughts, poisoning of the mind, stress, anxiety, etc. That's when the mind gets diseased. And when mind is affected or poisoned or filled with negative thoughts, thoughts of animosity, anger, frustration, etc., it leads to a diseased body. It leads to various physical ailments. So how do we overcome disease? How can we win the battle against disease? So Siddhagrana Kulchandra says, we can do that by following three principles. These are the principles of physical hygiene, mental hygiene, and spiritual hygiene. Practicing physical hygiene can protect our body, maintain the vital energy in our body, nourish and nurture our existence. We need to embrace all those which nurture our physical body. We need to give up all those which damage or endanger our physical for example, vegetarian food is great for our physical body. Non-vegetarian food leads to rapid cell division in our body, leading to rapid growth yet faster arrival of aging process. Now let's talk about mental hygiene. While we maintain and nourish and take care of our body, we also need to take care of our mind. As in order to look after our physical body, we embrace things which are good for our body, 
and give up things which are harmful. Similarly, to take care of our mind, we must embrace those things which are good for the mind and give up those things which are harmful to the mind. Repetition of Holy Name Being in the company of pious and kind and caring people, harboring thoughts of love, care, empathy, etc. can take care of our mind. It can keep our mind fresh, active, agile. At the same time, we must give up things which are harmful to our mind. Selfishness, hypocrisy, infinity complex, fault finding, complaining, etc. are harmful to our mind. We must keep away from them. Now let's talk about spiritual hygiene. Spiritual hygiene is all about being connected with the Supreme Soul, with the Lord, with the Master. It's about unrappelling, concentric, untuttering adherence to our Master. The true Master is fulfiller the best. Man is torn by contradictions, pulled apart by ambiguities. There are inconsistencies in life. There is a pool of complexes and craving for sense pleasures. How can man overcome all of this? How can man regulate and harmonize his thoughts, words and actions? A man's life is torn apart by inconsistencies, pulled apart by ambiguities. For a healthy and blissful life, man needs harmonious unification of all these inconsistencies and ambiguities and unrappelling adherence to the master or, or ideal is the pathway towards a healthy, enjoyable and blissful life. On one occasion, Sister Thakurana Pulchandra was sitting and having a conversation with his disciples. One of the disciples present there quoted a famous saying in English. He said, Thakur, there is a saying in English, if money is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. If character is lost, Everything is lost. Sri Sitakur looked uncomfortable with this idea, especially with the idea that if character is lost, everything is lost. Sri Sitakur said, if that is the case, then how could Dashu Ratnakar, Bandit Ratnakar, become Rishi Balmiki? How could prostitute Amrapali become a pious devotee? How could Bildu Mangal become a devoted person. So it is not correct to say that if character is lost, everything is lost. Sri Sitakur added one more sentence to that proverb. Sri Sitakur and Kulchandra said, If ideal is lost, everything is lost. If you don't have that living master, if you don't have the living ideal in your life, the master or guru, if you lose him, you will lose everything. My dear friends, if money is lost, we can earn it again. If health is lost, we can regain it. If character is lost, we can rebuild it. But if the ideal is lost in our life, but if we lose our ideal in our life, we lose everything. Dear friends, to lead a healthy life with complete well-being of our body, mind and our soul, we must practice physical hygiene, mental hygiene, and spiritual hygiene. And if you practice these three, we shall be able to regain the vital balance within us. We shall be able to remove the imbalance. We shall find ease in our life by defeating disease. Thank you very much, my dear friend.